Welcome Libra to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition read messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and get right into it and see how does your person currently think and feel towards you at this time. And also let's go ahead and check into your energy first. So let's see. Spirit, can you please bring forth the collective Libra into my reading? Thank you, Spirit. What is your energy and vibration towards this person? Who is on your mind? The person who you consider your love interest. Please bring forth Libra's love interest. Their thoughts and feelings towards this person into this reading. Thank you, Spirit. How does Libra currently think of this person? Thank you. Okay, so you really don't know what to do, and um, maybe you're a bit distracted, but I feel that you are just stalling, right? Um, but you're kind of like losing interest now. Um, the thing is, is that you don't want to be careless. You don't want to rush. You know, you don't want to hurry up and make a decision. So a lot of times, um, you know, Libra, you do take your time when making certain decisions, right? You just really don't know. And if you don't know, you wait. And um, I'm also seeing here that maybe you're uh, maybe second guessing yourself about how things were kind of uh, left, I guess, in conversation or the last time you've seen them. But um, for some, okay, this person kind of left you and they were a bit rude or arrogant. Um, maybe this was you towards them. Okay. That's for some, that's not for everyone. Um, I'm also saying that you're trying to come up with some sort of idea. Okay. To make this happen. So yeah, to have a new beginning. So uh, I really feel like you're really determined, uh, Libra. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have your King of Wands. So you're feeling really strong, okay, fearless, loyal, and uh, you want to be honest. So if you don't know, I feel that you're going to come up with some sort of idea to get the big idea, okay? Um, at least that's what's going on with you. Now, let's check in with your person. So spirit, can you please bring forth the person who Libra is connected to in love? What is this person's energy and vibration towards you at this time? How do they come off? What is their current energy towards Libra at this time? Thank you, spirit. Okay, yeah, so again, there's like this Knight of Swords energy. So um, they really feel like either you're the one that left them behind or they left you behind. Okay, so same energy coming through and they're going through a recovery. Okay, you know, maybe um, they're going through financial issues. I see here employment. Um, you know, maybe they're doing more self-improvement and um, they want to do the right thing. Okay, and this is your card. So they're holding back because they're not ready to commit. And um, they want to at least, you know, at least show up being successful. Okay. So yeah, I see her death. Um, 
there is a change that's going on with this particular individual so that you guys can have a new beginning. But right now they're really conflicted. They could be avoiding you. Um, it's because they're overwhelmed. Maybe there's like a lot of um, people, places or situations that's going on in their 3D physical life. And um, they're accepting that they need to let go of maybe having everything so perfect or, you know, maybe um, things are not um, where they want to be in terms of connection with you on a romantic level. And I see that um, they're thinking about just talking, right? Um, but they're, they're trying to be brave at the same time. You could be down with the Leo, maybe for some, could be Scorpio energy here. I also see that um, they really don't know. They need to really work on themselves. So I have a feeling, Libra, that... Um, you do have a bright idea maybe you want to bring sunshine into this person's life but what i see is that um there could have been some sort of argument or disagreement of some sort that caused a, a slight rift i'm not getting like um something detriment right um but what i'm getting is that there's more to the story going on with this person and it doesn't have anything so much to do with you so even if you know you try to put your best foot forward you know to open up towards them romantically what i'm seeing is that they're not ready right now okay i feel like they got other personal stuff that's going on in their life and um, they're just not ready for any kind of romantic commitment or anything like that. Uh, more than anything, I would say that a friendship would actually be successful up to this point, but I'm not even seeing a, a try of being a friend. Um, I just feel like your person is trying to kind of work more on themselves okay bottom of the deck wow we have here the ace of pentacles so they want to have a new beginning but they want to come up with a solid offer okay this offer hasn't landed the ground yet it is still in the ethers and um they're trying to accept and move on uh from making an indecision about you know having their wishes coming true okay this is about having everything you know um yeah, everything that makes them happy, they just don't know. So, you know, let, let's just go ahead and see what is the energy here between the two of you. So if that resonated with you so far, let's go ahead and check in to the energies between you and this love interest. So Sperry, can you please uh, reveal to me the thoughts of one another? The feelings towards each other, the intentions, and also the outcome. Thank you. What is the energy between Libra and their lover at this time? All right. So they're kind of torn, and I feel like they're in denial. Okay, so again, you know, I, I posted something on Instagram today and it was about childhood wounding and childhood trauma. And one of the key things I saw on that list was about denial. So let me see if I can um, pull that up. Um, let me go here to my page. So the denial says... Um, Avoid becoming aware of uh, a painful reality. So uh, the example here says, Mrs. V, you have cancer. And Mrs. V say, no way, Jose. So I have a feeling like whoever this person is, um, you know, if you told them like, hey, lover, I love you. And this person say, no, you don't. <laughs> So if that kind of resonates, okay, um, then yeah, that is what I am seeing here so far. So let's see. Yeah, and that that's where this rudeness comes in. So it's like, how do you counter that? Like you're sitting here, you're expressing your feelings towards this uh, individual, but then they're like in denial. They're like, no, that's not it. And um, for you, you're sad. You're sad because you had a let go of your expectations and your ego and um, you're not sure, you know, that no matter how hard you try, 
um, this person is still not open, right? Now, how do you guys feel? Again, I'm getting this death card, so you could be done with the Scorpio. So there is a change, or this person knows that they need to change in order to have a new beginning with you. Now, um, you know, maybe they doubt, they have their doubts, okay? Um, again, maybe being pessimistic. I have a feeling like your person really needs to work on themselves, and I don't feel that it has anything to do with you. This is a personal issue for this uh, individual, as far as I can see. And, um, yeah, they just really don't know. Um, also, what I'm getting here is that um, they are trying to really be independent, okay? And I also see they're trying to free themselves. And also with you, we have intuition and fear with the moon. So you have a lot of fear and anxiety about um, how your person is, I guess, how free they are, right? Now, earlier on, I saw that they were uh, really considering um, something. Hold on. Earlier on, I saw that your person was, uh, you know, um, they had like financial difficulty or they're seeking employment or um, or something of that nature, right? Like they, they feel like they're in isolation. And I feel like they're isolating themselves because they're trying to uh, really be secure on their own right. Now, your intuition is telling you that... <sighs> You know that this person is really working on their independence, but you're not sure if, you know, they're trying to detach, you know, from, from you and your efforts. Okay. At least that's what it looks like here. Really interesting. Am I missing a card? My goodness. All right, well. Hmm. So the intention. I have a feeling that they know that they need to work on themselves. Okay. Now, that, that could be the reason why that they're coming off as being like really cold or repressed. And for you, you don't know which direction to go. So this is, this is what I'm, I'm feeling. Oh my God. Um, I really feel that you don't know what to do. Okay. Because you know, if this person comes off as being blocked, how do you how do you pry them open? How do you open up? I really feel like you're you're dealing with a closed off individual, and I'm getting really strong Scorpio vibes here. Okay, because this has shown up like two times, and um, yeah, so you're dealing with a challenge. <laughs> is what I'm kidding. Now, what is the outcome? Yeah, they're really unhappy right now in their home. Um, I feel like both you guys are in separation. And um, I feel like, you know, your ego may be getting in the way. Now, again, there's like this financial loss. There could be a divorce that's going on. Um, so don't let your ego get in the way of like this person not opening up towards you, Libra. At least that, that's the bottom line here. I have a feeling like your person's going through something. Okay, if they're in a marriage or in kind of uh, some sort of commitment, um, you know, they're going through hard times is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like if they're going through a divorce, you know, that could uh, cause them to have like some sort of financial uh, loss or difficulty. Okay, and also their money situation um, may be a little bit um, unbalanced. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm getting. Um yeah, look at this. We have here Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I really feel like there's like heartbreak, loneliness on both sides. Now, let's let's go ahead and see. What does your higher self want to say towards you at this time? Because, you know, I guess what spirit wants 
for you, Libra, is to really stay strong. Because I see that, you know, um, in the very beginning, you really don't know. But then, you know, you're riding that pony, <laughs> you know, with a sun card. And um, if you stay positive, everything will be okay. I feel like that's that's what you need to know. You know, especially with this particular person. It may take time, okay, divine time, but, you know, patience pays off, right? So let's see. Um, Spirit, can you please reveal to me the message from this person's higher self? We have the wheel. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So again, this is the wheel um, of fortune, okay? And the, the wheel is turning, and if you're patient, things are going to flow in a direction um, where things are supposed to be. But I feel like it's in a divine timed um, event. Now, the wheel is is kind of like it's amongst us, okay? Like this energy is here. So it can happen anytime, okay? Especially if you've been really patient with this person. So let's see. What is the advice or guidance that Spirit wants you to know? What is the advice or guidance? And I'm also hearing that, you know, have faith and trust in the situation. You know, um, again, stay positive and things will actually go in your favor. So Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Or the cross watcher who is watching. What is the advice? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, look at this. A one-one -one outcome is forecast. What did I say? Look, full moon in Libra. Everything is going to work out. <laughs> so I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.